Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, we'll start immediately. We'll start with a, a brief uh, introduction. My name is Gabriel, I'm the Tech for All mentor for uh, this for this class. All right, and so we'll be starting with a brief introduction to what graphic design is all about and then the industry, what you are supposed to know and uh, some of the areas that you are supposed to concentrate in your career as a graphic designer. We'll look at a theoretical part of it and then also go into practicals. All right. Uh, okay. I hope you can see my screen from your end. Yes, I can see your screen. Okay. Graphic design is the creation of visual compositions to solve problems and communicate ideas through typography, imagery, color, and form. There is no way to do that, and that is why there are several types of graphic designs each with their own area of specialization. The things that you deal with okay. graphic design are typography, images, and now the use of those elements to be able to communicate ideas and solve problems. That is the objective as a graphic designer. So when you are working on a project, and you are not you are not able to solve problem or communicate. You have not actually designed. You are not designing just to make things beautiful. As a graphic designer, you have an objective to communicate in a certain way. Okay. Project ideas visually. That is what graphic design is all about. We we'll look at some of our areas of specialization. Number one we have in our slide is visual identity, visual identity graphic design. A brand is a relationship between a business organization and its audience. And a brand identity is how the organization. Okay. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Okay. I said a brand identity is how the organization communicates its personality, tone, essence, as, I well, can as, hear you. as well as memories, emotions, and experiences. A, a brand here represents a company. We have big companies, we have startup companies. Every company is faced with a challenge of projecting their image, their brand identity, their values as a company. And now brand visual identity designers, their, their job is to communicate those ideas. They, they are to communicate the values of a company to their audience. Who are the audience? Customers. So when we talk about brand identity, we start from the logo, typography, photography, I have an illustration here in the slide. This is what a brand identity design looks like. It starts with okay. the, the identity of the company, the, the logo, then it translates to their letterhead, their business card, their adverts. So one of the job of a, of a brand identity designer is to communicates the values of a brand to their customers. Okay. This is another example we have here. So a brand identity designer helps the organization to communicate these ideas in, the, in their branded products, their packaging, their adverts, their flyer, their billboard. So that's the job of a brand identity design. 
designers that specialize in visual identity graphic design collaborate with brand stakeholders to create assets like logos, typography, color palettes, image libraries that represent a brand personality. In addition to the standard business cards and corporate stationery, designers often develop a set of visual brand guidelines that describe the best practices and provide examples of visual branding applied across various media. This guideline helps to ensure brand consistency throughout the future applications. Once you look at this, you see a kind of consistency in the color. You see consistency in, in the logo. The logo, yeah. So they are maintaining consistency. That's the job of a, of a brand identity designer. We'll look into that closely as we go around. Number two is the marketing and advertising graphic design. When most, of, when most people think of graphic design, they think of designs created for marketing and advertising. The companies depend on successful marketing efforts tap into their target audience decision-making process. What that means is that a, a graphic designer who works with marketing and advertising sector helps to project the products of that company to the audience in a certain way. You know, the content that needs to sell have to be more engaging. So it's the job of the marketing and advertising graphic designer to promote products with designs, with designs. That is where problem solving comes in. So examples of, uh, of the areas that this graphics are applied is please, if, if, uh, if you are a participant, please move mute your end and pay attention please so this is a, a vehicle branding and this is a an advert a, a, a flyer so mainly a, a marketing and advertising designer they concentrate in this area of graphic design all right are you with me Yes. Okay, so the next one is the user interface graphic design. We'll call it UI. User interface design is mainly the form of websites and mobile apps. A user interface is how a user interacts with a device or an application. So UI design is the process of designing interfaces to make them easy to use and provide a user-friendly experience. So a UI UX designer, that is user interface, user experience designer, can also be categorized as a graphic designer, but it is in an area of specialty on itself. You are getting it. So this is what a UI UX design looks like. This is for a mobile app. And this is for a website. This is the dashboard. So before a website is being programmed with uh, front-end languages and back-end languages, there is a UI design. There's a, there's a user interface design from a graphic designer that we communicate what that platform is all about. We'll go into that in details later. So examples of user interface graphic design include web page designs, themes, the WordPress can a, a UI US designer can engage in designing WordPress themes, Shopify themes, game interfaces, and app designs. All right. And the fourth one is publication graphics design. Publication as long-term font pieces. They communicate with the audience 
through public distribution. Mm -hmm. They have, they have, they have traditionally, they have, they have traditionally been a print medium. Publication design is a classic type of design, like books, newspaper, magazines, catalogs. So we have a, an example here in the slide. All right. So these are areas of specialization, and they all have their principles and the, the way to do them professionally. Example of publication designs include books, newspapers, newsletters, annual reports, magazines. So designers that, that specialize in publication are faced with production and publication of books, newspapers, and all of that. We have packaging designs. Companies produce products, new products, almost every day. So the, a, a packaging designer is faced with the responsibility of bringing a good package design that we engage customers. You will notice that customers buy products that are more appealing. All right? So the job of a package designer is to make products appealing to the customers. I have an example here. This is a product and this is the design. Starting from the arrangements to the color, they are all communicating the products and the values. So in design, Things are not just used, they are all communicated. The color in this product design is communicating. The typography is also communicating. The type of font is also communicating. And this is also another product design. All right? So a package designer is faced with the responsibility of producing stuffs like this. And then the sixth in the list is motion graphics design. I hope I'm not too fast. Hello? No, no, I'm getting you. I'm following. OK, OK. So motion graphic design, we have a TV intros. If you look at um, DSTV, you have you have uh, TV intros like uh, adverts. Most of them are animated. Most of them are, are real life motion graphics. All right. So most of those intro intros that plays on the screen are done by motion graphic designers. And uh, you have all of them in advertisements, animated logos, trailers, presentations, promotional videos, and all of that is the job of a motion graphic designer. And then the seventh you have in the list is art and illustration. Graphics, art, and illustration are often seen as being the same as graphic design. However, they are each very different. Designers create compositions to communicate and solve problems. Graphic artists and illustrators create original artworks, and their arts take a number of forms, from fine art to decoration to storytelling illustrations. All right, this is what an illustration looks like, okay? There is a, a particular software that you can use for this on a mobile version. You can, you can also use Adobe Photoshop on, to create something like this. So when we get to the practical, I will, I will show you the difference. Adobe Illustrator can be used for this. Adobe Photoshop can be used for this too. All right. So, art and illustrate an art, a digital artist or an illustrator is faced with 
telling stories with art. And this is another example of a, an illustration, but this is more flat. We call this one 2D illustration, two dimensional illustration. Why this one has a more a three dimensional effect. All right, so that's a that's that for the that's that for the theory part of it. Um, uh, let's quickly go to let's go over to practical aspects. Is there any related question that we can discuss before we continue? Hello, are you with me? I'm with you. What's the difference between the UI and the, the normal? Like, are they also graphic designers? Yes. Design they interface are. designers. Can they also be referred to as graphic designers? Yes. No, you see, graphic design is a general term. You understand? A digital artist. What I mean by digital artist is someone that creates apps with software. You know that fine art itself can be done physically with a brush and paint and also drawing and all of that. But now a digital artist now use software to create art. You understand? So they are all categorized as a graphic designer. Both a user interface designer, they are all categorized as a graphic designer. But someone can decide to specialize in producing digital art. Another person can specialize in producing publications and advertisements. I have friends who are also, who are only brand identity designers. They don't do any other thing but create brand identity details for companies. You understand that now? Hello, do you understand that? Hello? I can hear you. Okay, I hope I've answered your question. Yes, sir, thank you. Okay. So, um, uh, the software, we have to go over to installing the software in the practical session now. Are you able to download? Okay. Are you able to download the software? No, sir, I wasn't able to download it. I told you I'm having difficulties, right? Okay, okay. Look at how you can be able to do that. You can get the software from the market or you can download from your laptop. All right. So if if you are if you are to download from your laptop, if you are to download from your laptop, can you see my my screen from your end? Hello? Okay, if you are to download from your, your laptop, you, you type in uh, I get into pc.com. That's the website that where you can find the software, right? I get into pc.com. So once you input the web address okay. like this, the website okay. loads. And then there is a there is a search box here. Can you see my mouse? There's a search box where you type the name of the software. Adobe Photoshop. All right, and then you click go. And here are the softwares. There are a lot of them here. The website, the, the site, they all actually update the softwares frequently. So what we're going to be using for this training is Adobe Photoshop 2020. All right. So if you move down the line, you will see it. Or you can just search it here. Adobe Photoshop. Okay. So, 
depending on your, operate, uh, your operating system, there's Mac OS and there is for Windows. So you go for Windows and click to download. So this is, this is the view you have. And then you go, you scroll down. There is a download button down there. Okay, so we have download now as once you see this red button, you click on it. It now take you to another link where you can download the software. Okay, it says you can start download in ten minutes. So you wait for ten minutes, and your download will start. Mind you, this is a very uh, large file. I think it's around. 2.2 gig, so you should have up to that amount of data before you can be able to download. All right, so you now click the this blue button to download. I've actually downloaded that, so there is no need. There is no need downloading it again, but once you click on that button, the download will start. All right. This is some of the system requirements. Okay. Okay. The, the file size is 1.7 gig. And then uh, this is how to install. I will, I will do that quickly now. But look at the system requirements. You say you should have Windows 10 and uh, your RAM should be 4 gig. And you had this, you should have a space, space of four gig two. And uh, the list processor is I3, Intel Pentium. Right, so we'll quickly go, I've downloaded the software already. So I'll show you how to install the software. I hope you can still see my screen from your end. Yes, I can see it. My own challenge is that I have data, but it just keeps loading. It's not downloading things. That's my own challenge. Are you connected? Like with, are you connected with your PC? I'm on my PC. Yes. Okay. I'm connected on my PC. Still downloading now as we are talking. Safe. But I have data. There's enough data. I, I, do, do you have the do, do you have the pop up? Uh, uh, Yes, I can see the pop-up that is installing, but um, it's loading. Okay, just like this. Because it's taking time, 4.0 gig. Yeah, I've, so, I've, I've passed this place. Okay. I click on send anyways. So it started downloading. Okay, so I've started downloading on your end. Look out, you know, it will take yeah, time. Yeah, just like it's taking yes, so yes. much time. It will take time because that's 1.7 gig. So... I will advise you do it in the night where you have free network. Uh, um, I think around 12 or 1 o'clock, the network is a bit faster because uh, not, there are no much people on the internet by that time. But if you have network in, at your end, you can still continue with it. All right, no problem. I'll download it. Okay, so... I'm using, I'm using Wi-Fi. Okay, okay, okay. So now let's assume you have downloaded the file. This is how what it looks like. Okay, I hope you can see my screen. Yes, okay. This is Adobe Photoshop 2020, and this is Illustrator. This is XD. All right, so let's let's quickly go to Adobe Photoshop 2020. Your screen is also. Can you see it? Just it's paused. It's paused. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Let me let me check what the problem is. Can you see it now? Can you see it? See it, yes. Can you see the screen now? I can see it. Okay. So it's a zip file. Is a is a zip file. So you have you should have on your system installed a software called WinRAR. 
Okay, so we're, uh, once you install it now, you can be able to unzip the, the software. Once you unzip it, you go to setup, setup.exe and double click on it to install. So it takes a little bit of your time to load, to load some of these components. So it's trying to unzip the software. So it will take a little time. It's a heavy file. That's why it's Hard light. That's why it's taking oh, time. She has cheap hours. She has one of 80,000, 100,000. But it's because of this core i7. If it was core i3, probably it would be around 80,000. It won't get up to. How bulky is it? From a friend. How long now? All right, this is, this is the screen that you should have. If you have a pop-up screen like this, you you have to click. It will ask you, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to the device? You click on, you click yes, then uh, a screen pops up. Asking you to install, so you just wait for it. Okay, it says install Adobe Photoshop. Yes. So you. Your click. screen is paused. Can you see it now? It's paused. It's paused at um your your file. You can see your plugins. That's the place I'm seeing. It's not moving from there. Can you see it now? Hello, can you see? Can you see? Yes, Adobe, yes, can you, can yes. you see? Install Adobe Photoshop. Install Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop. Yes. Okay, you can see it now. Okay. So I said when you download the software, is a zip file. So you you have to have you have to have installed on your system WinRAR. This is WinRAR. Can you see my mouse pointing to the software? All right. I so, can see it. I can see it. Okay. So with this software now, you can be able to. So where will I? Where will I see this? Um, this you can still get it. Yes. In that same website, I get into my pc.com. I get into pc.com. All right. So you have it installed. What's it called, please? Winra. W i n r a r. W i n R -A -R. All right. Okay. So once you have it installed, you open the Adobe Photoshop and go to setup. Once you double click on setup, it will bring up this screen. And when you have this screen, you, you click continue and all of that. So what the dialogue box here now is the language. You, sh you should leave that okay. And also, I think the location for installation is also okay. So just click on continue. And once you do that, it starts installing. It says installing. So once it's 100% complete, you have Adobe Photoshop installed on the system. I hope this, the steps are very clear. Hello, I hope the steps are very clear. Yes, sir. Is this something that you can do? Yes, it's something I can do. Okay. 
So I think by next class, we'll get into uh, introduction to the tools, but you need to have them installed so that we, we look at some of the tools and uh, how to use them. Okay. Okay, sir. Um, I, I gave you guys the list of the software. You have to install Adobe Photoshop. You have to install CorelDRAW 2020. And you have to install Adobe Illustrator 2020 and the Adobe XD. 2020. These are the four softwares that we need for the training. I hope you got that. I saw it on my WhatsApp, on the WhatsApp group. You said Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and Corel Draw. Okay. Is there any other one? Mm, the the four of them is what we'll be needing for this course. Uh, it's only three you need. No, there are four. Corel Draw is a more. You Corel... listed Corel Draw. You listed Illustrator. You listed Photoshop. And the XD Adobe XD. Adobe, Adobe XD. XD. Okay, yes, sir. is the software you use for user interface designs. All right, sir. So um, uh, I think uh, we'll end the class now. And then uh, I expect by our next class that your softwares must have been installed so that we'll get into the tools to learn how to yeah. be able to use the tools. However, if you, encounter, okay, so. if you encounter challenges while installing the softwares, you can, pick, you can easily drop your the challenges or the errors on a WhatsApp platform or our Slack okay. channel. And we will we'll discuss about that. And uh, okay, for, for by our next class, you must have gotten the softwares installed. All right? All right, sir. We will end the class right now. Thank you. Um, All right, uh, thank you, sir. OK. If there is any other further question, you can still drop it on our, on our WhatsApp platform. All right. Please, when is the next class? The next class will be communicated on the WhatsApp platform. Okay. All right. Thank you.